Hello guys, it's Paula uh, back to work on the December Daily. I hope you're getting all excited about Christmas and getting your shopping done. We have one gift card to buy. One. Yay! We haven't bought our groceries yet, but and we still don't have a thing wrapped. But <clears throat> I'm getting this done <laughs> little by little. I'm very behind because today is what? The 18th. Well, I'm only... Today's the 18th and I'm going to do the 16th and 17th with you today. So I'm kind of starting to prepare toward, uh, you know, the final days before Christmas. You know, the whole Christmas Eve service, um, Christmas baking cookies, and, and then on Christmas Eve, Santa. Christmas Day, of course, is the birth of Jesus. So, I've also got some angel and an old choir, a choir singer, you know, going out caroling, say that correctly. But this time I have for day 16, doesn't look like much, does it? But it says a lot. So day 16 and 17 are both gonna be these adorable angels that came out of a ideas book. I know it's black and white and it might be a little more on the boring side for some of you, <clears throat> but I think the illustrations are beautiful. And this is like a big pipe organ. I had to cut the, it went a mile long. But <clears throat> what I wanted to point out in this is what it said or says in <clears throat> the poem. So it's uh, music for Christmas is what it is and it's the angels singing and then page 17 will be the other side of the page but it was so pretty it says let us have music for christmas sing out the carols of old rejoice in the birth of christ child the most wonderful story ever told sing with a heart filled with gladness and love for the heavenly king Lift up your voice with song and praise until the rafters ring. Let us have music for Christmas in the glow of candlelight, mingled with snow and mistletoe and shepherds that watch by night. Sing of the star and wise man too and angels watching above. Bring once again to the homes of men the gift of wondrous love. Let us have music for Christmas. Sound the trumpet of joy and rebirth, let each of us try with a song in our hearts to bring peace to men on earth. Wouldn't it be wonderful to bring back that peace on earth uh, that was once there, or pretty, pretty close. <laughs> it, was, it was once there. <clears throat> okay, and on in my little golden book on the right side here you can see away in the manger with a little angel blowing a trumpet and um, a manger sitting right there so what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> this is a kind of a colorful background but I wanted to add some blue to the background something just to make this stand out a little better um, and I don't know if I have the right page to do that or not, but I'm going to try. I, I want some of this to show in the background, or at least I think I do. <laughs> and it kind of looks like snowflakes. I don't know that it is. <clears throat> I have this other one here. Actually, I have two pieces of the, the polka dot, which looks like snow as well even though Away in the Manger has nothing to do with snow. So maybe we should go back to this one that looks more like snow or stars. Uh, 
or rain splatters. <laughs> I don't think I want to put two on here. I think I'm just going to put this one. Now, we do need to ink um, the choir page with the angels and the organ. And one girl is singing from a hymnal. Um, we've been just talking about the Christmas, what Christmas Eve services we wanted to go to. I haven't uh, decided on every one of them, but um, they'll all be good. Sometimes we go to one, you know, or sometimes we go to two or three. <clears throat> Depends on the time and if they have them before. If it's only on Christmas Eve, if it's early in the day, we could go. But usually, nowadays, people have, our churches have way more <clears throat> than one service. So, and that makes it nice. Okay, so we are going to put them in that corner. Let's go ahead and ink this since we've got it out. And <clears throat> also... I was thinking, I have the number 16 is a is made out of wood, um, so this isn't anything over the top fancy, but I don't think it would have been over the top fancy in the manger, do you? <laughs> Um, now I am going to ink this, this, uh, Christmas poem. I know I had the name of it here. The, the music for Christmas poem. I'm thinking maybe I'll back this with a different color. Um, I mean, we could back it with even one of the other prints. Let's do that. Boy, that's a perfect fit, huh? I'm going to cut it out right here to the right of my book. My desk is covered in things that I've been thinking about to lead up to Christmas. You know, before I was, I've been just doing whatever comes to my mind. I mean, and obviously these all came to my mind, but um, I want it to be <clears throat> the dates to be as close as I, you know, I can get them. Nothing's going to be perfect, you know, like I'm not even trying to make it perfect. I'd be up a creek if I tried that. Okay, so... I'm thinking, do we want to round the corners? I thought this was going to fit on here much better. Maybe it's because I was going to bring it up more. Oh, I remember how I, how I did it when I was thinking about it. Um, I'm going to center this as best I can. And, or maybe... We should bring it out to the edge. And then, after we get it on the edge, bring this pit, the picture all the way down in the left corner. And then I gotta ink this blue paper here because I just cut it out. Um, I think I'm gonna keep the corners like they are. Although if I if I trim them around them, it will show more of my picture. So let me get my corner rounder. <clears throat> I had thought about doing it like a ticket so that it'd be it would give even more room, but I don't know. I don't think. I want that to be the the big deal about the page, you know. 
I hope this doesn't cut off any of my words because I trimmed as close as I could because I knew all it did was cut off the L on let at the beginning and the T on two. So I think we're good. Um, so, have you guys, did, do you think that you're going to get what you wish for for Christmas? I got to tell you what my husband did. Of course, you know, we pretty much talk about what we want for Christmas because we're at that age. It's just like what, you know, I, we don't buy for each other just to be buying because, um, it's such a waste, you know, to do that. So we try not to just buy things to have to take them back. That is the main thing I'm saying here. Okay, so let's get started. <clears throat> I had thought about bringing out my colored pencils on these angels. I may still do that. Um... But it's, it's really time-consuming, you know, to, to try to watch something like that on video. But if I decide to do it, I should have done it ahead of time. But what I was going to tell you a second ago, i got to tell you what my husband did. So this, you know, it's like 10 o'clock at night. My husband ordered... Now, I know some of you have looked at my craft room video from when I first started YouTube and yeah it's awesome it took many many years to become awesome but um, I still had some furniture that I felt like wasn't really being used to its full potential and or the space wasn't being used like it should be and um, and my husband and I talked about it, you know, adding some furniture when I came to into the bigger room. Um, we, we talked about doing that. Of course, it's not all the way up. I want to pull on it too hard because it is old. And now it has too much glue on the bottom. So that's all right. We'll get it off. This paper, this blue paper, is old Creative Memories paper. Do you guys remember Creative Memories? They've actually been back for a couple years, but, um, yeah. So it's super thin, so I'm trying to be careful not to tear it either. Um, so there we go. So back to my husband. He, um, and this wasn't for my Christmas gift. Um, at least I don't think it was because we did discuss it. But he finished buying the rest of my shelves. And they were delivered today. So he took the big armoire that really, you know, didn't hardly give me any space for anything. Had one little shelf in it and then you had to hang anything that you put in it. Or put it in the floor of the armoire. But I love my armoire. He got it for me special for a special anniversary. And it's set up in my third bedroom. Or my fourth bedroom. That was never used by anybody in the corner for two months. And I never saw it. How crazy is that? Because <laughs> uh, you know at that time... My kids were home. They would vacuum, you know. Dad, he had them vacuuming so I wouldn't go in there. But I still didn't even realize that he had put it, had, you know, got it for me and put it in the the fourth bedroom. So it was, it was funny. In that house, we had five bedrooms, but it was the fourth one upstairs. And, um... I felt crazy when he took me upstairs and in, into that room. I was like, when did, you, when did you get that? I'm like, where'd that come from, you know? 
I had seen it in a craft uh, or antique mall or something and had told him about it. And he I evidently went right over there and and got it. Which it really did surprise me. But I've had it in my craft room, the armoire, and it, it took a wall that could it, you know, had shelves real easy that would have given me much more space because I have been, you know, when you do junk journaling, which I wasn't doing before, um, you know, at the time when I got enlarged my room, I didn't, um, I didn't have, I wasn't doing junk journals. But now that I am, you know, the books and all that stuff take room. And, you know, because I'm one of those people, when I see something or see a book, especially a little golden books, they're, I'm kind of attracted to them a little bit. But, um... Well, that was lots easier than I thought it would be. Look how cute. They're just singing along. I love it. Um, I've got that on straight, but this it looks crooked over here. I must not cut it straight enough on that one side. Oh, well. Who, who cares? Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to bring that all the way up. I'm going to have to put the title kind of, you know, at an angle, but that's all right. I have no idea where I'm going to put the number. So he did. He bought me a, let's see, it is four by four shelf with um, four by four, meaning it's four crossed and four shelves down. So they're like cubicle shelves from, I, I've, I've gotten them all at Ikea. So they're all black. Um, kind of do black and white in my room, but I'm really not that picky. Um, so anyway, he got me the the four by four because we couldn't put another five by five in here because we've got three five by fives in here right now and there's just not room for another one but I had uh, in another corner I a small corner I had a, a two by two so he bought another two by two and attached it to the top because they're made where you can do that and um so that was awesome. So that gave me four. It actually gave me uh, 25. No, let's see, four by four, 16. Let's, no, I'm, I'm wrong. I, did, I said four by four. It's three by four. So 12 spaces there and four spaces. <clears throat> so a total of 16. Um, I think they're 14 by 14 inch um, shelves. So that's no complaining from me. So now I have this three by four shelf just for my books. And I am just so excited about that. Okay, now I forgot to ink the title when we definitely wanna put that on there. And again, this came out of the ideas book. So once I get my room organized later on, it'll be a, next year, but <laughs> which is around the corner, um, I will put it, I will show you guys my new shelves. Yeah, I'm just going to put this at an angle. But we have to think about where we want the number. Hmm, maybe we want it like this. I don't really like that though. And look, oh gosh, I have to put this down here because it's it blends with this paper. Can't do that. 
So I guess we will put it this way. Let's just do that first. So Rick is worn out from doing shelves. Oh, and also he doesn't he didn't even do this tonight, but or today. He got me another shelf to go under my my um, table that I stand at when I want to cut things. If I want to use my Cricut or my electric um, die cutting machine, <laughs> because you know my arthritis is so bad I can't just pump you know every little piece or you know with the the old big shot anymore. It hurt. It was hurting me. It was hurting the old lady. So, probably what I'll do with this, if I do anything at all, is do a little bit of blue in the dress or in the wings. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, so let's decide where we want our 16. Maybe between, like this, or maybe over. I really don't like to put it in the binding. This is better because it doesn't cover up anything. We'll do that. <clears throat> I may put some glossy accents on the numbers just to make them shiny, but I won't do it until everything's dry because, you know, that takes all night to dry. But the nice thing is, is it's dry by the next day when you're ready to go again on your videos. Now, tomorrow I will not be posting a video. This one will be posted tonight or in the morning. And, well, probably in the morning since it's 10 o'clock. Um, Rick's on vacation, so he's going to do it for me. But I um, have to get a an injection tomorrow in my neck. I have problems with it every once in a while, the arthritis in my neck. And... I don't do it till, till I'm at the point of not being able to sleep with a pillow. <laughs> but I'm sure not going to have surgery on it. And so I guess uh, it'll be me and my pain management doctor for now on. But anyway, and I have to do that tomorrow, which I have to come home and rest after that. And, and then the next day I have to have a procedure done on my eyes. But it's like... I, I'll be fine. I might be able to scrapbook that day. This glue, see these little, see these little, um, what do you call these? I just went totally blank. School, uh, spiral. <laughs> I just am not even sure. But anyway, um, the glue kind of seeped through there. I didn't think about that happening. It, so it was sticking to the page behind it. I think I got most of it off. I can go back when I'm all finished. and Like this glue tonight just seems like it's thinner. <laughs> or I'm just sloppy. I'm not sure which. It's seeping out. Especially on the left side here. <laughs> See how it's kind of just like puddling out. Didn't feel like I put that much on there, but maybe I did. Um, I am in my head lining up some really neat things for after Christmas. I'm going to be doing a three ring binder for sewing and that's different and you know they're so much fun and it's got such a I've got two and both of them have really cool um, covers on them and I know people love um, love them and they don't last any in anybody's store so, um, 
because I've tried to buy one before, <laughs> before I realized I could just make myself one if I wanted to. And just kind of a, a heads up on my design team um, book with all the old, old ledger in it that's just calling my name. I am, I am going to sell that after all because I decided to support another um, person who makes books and I have not done that yet. So I decided Christmas was a good time to do it. I found a book I liked and um, so I got it. I'll show it to you whenever. Um, I just, you know, I don't have the name of her store right in front of me, but I will show it to you and we'll give her, we'll, we'll, uh, see what all she does and so forth. Um, it was the only book in her store, but she did have a few digital, um, papers and, uh, or files and I'm trying to think what else she had. Her name is Laura, or Lauren Presley. I do know that, but I can't remember. I don't have any paperwork right in front of me, but it's probably still on my printer. <laughs> do you do that, print stuff off, and remember three days later that you didn't get it off your printer? Um, anyway, she, um, she did a good job on the book, from what I can tell. And it just drew me in. So I just immediately knew I wanted to support her in her endeavors. And I don't know how long she's been uh, doing journals or anything. But um, she, she subscribed to my channel. And I didn't realize it, but somehow I ended up, I must have clicked on something, but it took me to her channel. Now, her YouTube channel is Lauren Presley. I didn't ask her if she was related to Elvis, but I am such an Elvis fan from way back when that if I hear that name at all, I think, I wonder if they're family member somehow some way she doesn't look like it she's blonde-headed I think but um, anyway <laughs> um, so I am gonna get that other shell I'm rambling I'm sorry I go from one subject to the next today for some reason I am gonna get that under my a shell like three or four by two under my um, my my uh, big table that I use to do all my cutting and die cutting and um, of all kinds. But I also asked for Christmas for the sidekick. Have you guys heard th about that? Um, I just put it on my wish list for my whoever, you know, because the kids kept asking me, and I said, I'm just going to put stuff on my wish list. You know, it's easier to do that than it is to try and... All right, guys, page 16 is done. Let me make sure you can see. And we've got just enough time to do page 17. And so page 17, since we're doing blue here, we're going to do pink. On page 17 next to this angel <clears throat> um, so this this picture here was on the left side of the ideas book and the one that I'm are the ones that I'm about to put on the right side are um, were on the right side of the book so it's left and right as they are here, left, right. So we're gonna do pink stars, I think. That's bright, isn't it? 
But you know, I like bright. But I don't think if I put it that direction, it's gonna fit. I was gonna do any space that didn't fit. I was going to do, um, you know what? I'm gonna cut this part off because, look at this pretty stitching. I don't wanna cover that up. I'm just gonna cut it straight with my, my cutter. as big as I can make it. I'm not even measuring. I'm just going over to where it where it cuts off there. And that way we can see that's that looks better because you can see the stitching. Don't you think? Let me get my pen. I got a mark where we need to cut it. Oh my goodness, you guys. Shopping for the grandkids was more difficult this time than ever. I mean, they are wonderful kids. It's just when they when they say they don't know what they want, you know they're spoiled. And every one of them told me that. <laughs> Except Charlie. Charlie, he's happy with anything. So something cute about Charlie. He, um, most of the things that mom put on the list, I mean, was Legos. and He can't really do that by himself, but him and dad do it. And uh, he loves doing it with his daddy. And he's really good at puzzles. So it's kind of like a puzzle in a way. But we got him the, I think it's the Incredibles. Maybe, I think that's the name of it. Until I don't ever watch cartoons anymore. But uh, he is crazy about them right now. That's his big thing. Do you know that this is still a little big? Oh my word. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> when you just barely get off. So now it'll probably just barely be too short. You know how that works. I hope you guys are having fun watching the daily videos. Um, there's a whole lot more creative people out there that's done it before, I'm sure. But the fun thing, I think, about watching the videos, and I've been watching them, is um, seeing different styles, but how different minds think uh, around Christmas. And, um, and how some are just super creative and some aren't as creative. That would probably be me. <laughs> but um, my husband wouldn't agree with that. He thinks I'm so creative. But that's because he loves me. Do you know what I'm talking about when I say that, right? I'm sure, I'm sure your spouse feels the same way about each of you. Um, so this is a little bit heavier cardstock because it's double-sided. So I'm trying not to put too much around the edges, but more in the middle so that we can keep it adhered to the book. Yeah, every one of our grandkids, all of them wanted something different. But what I was gonna tell you about Charlie, here I go, back and forth. Some of brain's working today. Um, you know, he didn't ask for anything. His mom and dad just told me what he was into and stuff like that. And I asked her to do a wish list for me for him. Well, I thought about it and I went ahead and got, you know, some of the stuff, but they're, they, I don't know if I told you guys this or not, but they have, they bought eight chickens. Yes, you heard me. They, they uh, flipped a house that has, that sits on a pecan grove. 
and it has a chicken coop. And so, first thing my daughter said was, we're gonna get some chickens. We're gonna get just enough to produce enough eggs for us, nothing crazy. And I thought they were just gonna go to some chicken farm and buy some chickens. But instead, they ordered them online. <laughs> it's so funny to me. They ordered them online, and my son-in-law built a square wooden box that they couldn't jump out of. You know, it was deep enough that they couldn't jump out of it, and they put, like, whatever baby chickens are supposed to have, and they were babies, like tiny little babies. Something back in the day, when I was a child, we would get chickens. We would get baby chicks for um, Easter. And, you know, we didn't, we didn't know, we didn't know any, we didn't know that that was weird. But at that time, kids did have baby chicks at Easter. And I guess the, the more well-to-do people would have bunnies. But usually the chicks don't live very long unless they're really in the right environment. The babies don't. So they have to be, you know, certain age to be shipped. <laughs> I know that sounds so weird. Um, and then a certain age to be, um, you know, in order to live and so forth. So my daughter at, on Thanksgiving took took her dad and I out to see the chickens and one of them was not doing very well at that time and told my husband that chick baby chick is not going to make it it was real scrawny compared to the others but um anyway so in a few days it the first day my son-in-law travels he's a missionary and he travels with his job to other countries and um, he was going to Egypt and uh, for some meeting which was a small trip because normally he's gone seven to ten days but he was only gone like five days so I'm sure he was exhausted when he got back because I have flown to Egypt they lived there for about two solid years um, when Lucy was hardly six months. I was heartbroken. It's you know, my first granddaughter. But you know, I knew that they were going, going by their heart, you know. And I knew when she married him, he, he was into missions. <clears throat> okay, so this one, this has an, it's called Chris, Christmas. And I don't know if you guys are interested in hearing this, but I'm going to read it for the ones that are. Christmas by Nick Kenny. Come follow the holy men tonight to the stable in Bethlehem where a tiny babe in the manger lies with stars for his Diane. Fall on your knees with the shepherd folk who stopped at the door ajar and sing with the angels peace on earth for Jesus who came so far. Come share in the yearly miracle while his star shines tenderly bright and beseech, beseech him to bring the whole world peace as he did on that Christmas night. I love that. I love it. So very true. Okay, but where is it going to fit? You know, I did play with this stuff. This came off another page because it's a different color in the background. So, I just didn't want this to be real bare, I think is why I did that. Let's see, I might have to cut the title off and then um, and then we can line it up. I think I liked this poem and I decided to add it to this page is what, what I ended up doing. Let me just kind of, I'm just going to whip around these words and have no rhyme or reason to it, just to give me as much room as possible. Okay, now let's see. I'll ink it, but let's see how we can get it on here. Maybe up here. 
but it gets on our angel. Okay, so we gotta go up as far as we can to, let me see. Nope. Maybe we'll put this down here. I hope you guys can see all right. I know I'm moving all over the place. And then put this other part up there. That's what we'll do. That will give us a little, that'll buy us a little bit of room. Listen, if I want to use it, I'm going to really work hard to try to figure out how and where. Now this part will be up here. And this other part we'll put down at the bottom. And I am trimming anything we don't need off. And I'll put the title somewhere. Okay. It's not perfect, but to me, this is like um, just inventing something, you know? Just, it, you're free to do whatever when it's your own journal. And that is the fun part. And I know those of you who have gotten your own journals, um, feel the same way that you can just get in there and just open up to your journal and you know it's yours it's a private thing you don't have to show it to anyone I'm showing it to you guys because you're my friends but I'm just saying that you don't have to show it to anybody if you don't want to let's see if that's high enough I think it's going to be maybe we can bring it down a little bit and then we'll bring this right here. Now I know we had to separate it and it's not as cool separated, but for some reason that extra space was just taking up too much room. Maybe we can do right under, oh gosh, let me see, right under the important stuff and then See if we can put this more over here. If we cut this part out, Bill, it'll fit perfect. So here we go. It's funny to me how I had this all planned out and everything's going different than I thought it would. But that's all right. That's how my life is. Okay, now I am just going to start gluing um, the stuff down so that we can just say this is how it's going to be. And, um, and there's no turning back. So I didn't finish earlier. Here I go again. I do remember, I just get off on tangents sometimes. You know, kind of makes me think of Gail when she says, it's gonna be one of those, it's gonna be one of those videos, guys. <laughs> she cracks me up, I love her. Um, but anyway, um, I don't, you don't know what it's gonna be like till you get started. But Charlie has been introduced to baby chickens. Now, mind you, I have not talked to them about the chickens in a week or two. But um, the day Kenny left for Egypt, I mean, he wasn't, she, Ashley took him to the airport. And um, when, when she got back home with the kids, the chicken was dead. She said, and she texts me, and, or called her dad and I and said, I swear every time Kenny goes somewhere, and this is true, a lot of things happen when he goes somewhere. And a lot of times it has to do with Charlie be ending up in the hospital or whatever. And that is really hard for him to be in the hospital and dad not. I mean, he's had to come home from trips um, when Charlie has had to be flown by plane, little uh, angel plane. 
he's flown on angel planes and he's flown on, you know, just chartered planes um, when he's had a bad spell or something. But, and it's happened when Kenny's been gone and my daughter's had to get on that tiny plane. She did not like that. She's, she's got a little tiny bit of, she don't like to fly. Uh, a little tiny bit of that, you know, flying. She's never totally comfortable. I'm kind of that way too, though. Once I'm up in the air, I, I seem to do okay. But I don't like the takeoff, and I sure don't like. It. I'd rather take off than land. I I hate that, you know, feeling of trying to stop. Um, but anyway, so Kenny is not even out of Oklahoma probably <laughs> and she has a chicken die and so then you know she has the kids to deal with about this chicken <laughs> it's not funny but it's funny I don't remember all the little details but I just remember she was like I can't believe this uh, you know I'm not letting him go anywhere <laughs> ever again. And we know that's not going to be how it works, but okay. So now we've got, I think what we'll do is start with this one because we know that it's going to sit right up against the edge of that little angel's head. Okay, now... Whoops, that's going to ooze out. So Rick and I <laughs> were doing some last-minute shopping last night, and all of my grandkids have had this little farm by Fisher-Price. Everybody's probably heard of it or seen it. When they would come to my house, I had this. That was like one of the very first toys I bought when Elliot was born, my oldest. And he loved it, and he would just play and play with that. And um, I think he at some point ended up with one at home, too. But um, anyway, so, and then Oliver was born, and he played with it, and he loved it. You know, it makes all these farm noises. And, of course, now they have a chicken coop that is included in it. And so you have this this chicken sitting on a nest and then you push this button and you see the eggs and then you see baby chicks pop up from under them. So we just decided he needed that. <laughs> you know, we he, he didn't ask for anything and we we had probably spent $50 less on him and not on purpose, just it's just how we went by the list, and um, I told my husband, he has to have that. He's learning about baby chicks, and so we got it for him. It was like $35 or something, but it's cute, guys. They have it now where, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. They have it where it um, the chicken lays eggs. Now, you don't see her actually lay the eggs, but you, you get the point. And then they have um, where they have an area where they can be fed, not just the chickens, but the animals can be fed. And that's pretty cool. That's different. It's like, in a, it's like a tower or dome or water tower or something like that that you can see through. And it's, I'm trying to describe what it's shaped like, but cylinder, I guess. But anyway, you can see all this food moving around. and But it makes all, it has a bell, like a cow bell. So if you pull the string, it rings the bell and all these cute little things. I just thought he'd have fun with it. And if he doesn't, I told my husband, they can just bring it over to the house. He'll get bored enough, he'll play with it. He never gets bored over here. But because he was in the hospital for over a year, um, when he had his, his transplant, he, you know, he kind of got attached to his iPad. And um, 
there really wasn't a lot they could do about it. They are very against against it, and they have tried to break him from it so many times, and it seems like every time he ends up having to go in the hospital or whatever. But he worked a lot of puzzles um, when he was in the hospital, and that's why he can do like a 75 to 100 piece puzzle. And he's only five, so, you know, he does a good job with puzzles. He's amazing, but anyway, I think he'll have fun with it. I can't wait to see him with it. I'll have to take some pictures of him. Okay, now we have the Christmas title somewhere. I gotta find it. And then all that is, that part's done and all we have to do is put on number 17. And that should not be that difficult. And then this page will be done, and we will, um, I may use color pencils on it, and I'll show it to you next time. The letter, or the numbers, are going to be silver on this side. I had to go back and buy more uh, numbers because you run out of ones, and then today, when I had my, I, I had to buy another pack of wood and another pack of the shiny. And I get in here and I think, okay, I'm going to have enough. And I was short two number twos. Did not like that at all. Really ticked me off. I was like, are you kidding me? Okay. Now, um, the number. Let's do the number. Let's see, I don't want to do the number here, but it looks like I'm going to have to. Maybe we'll do it more toward the middle so it doesn't get down in the, in the spine. But I don't want it right in her face. There we go. That'll work, right? Oops, this has adhesive, but I still add glue because I just don't trust it. You know how some things have sticky on the back, but if you want it to last long term, you're wise to add a little bit of some kind of glue. And I always add, it just comes out of here like crazy. I don't know what the deal is tonight. Okay. There's the seven. Can't believe we're already on day seven doing day 17. It's nuts. Okay. Okay, now number one on there. And then we'll be finished with it. Oh my goodness, that is just, I just got that glue on my sleeve. It got caught up in my sleeve. Look at that. These are my new PJs. Because it's so late. <laughs> I've got my PJs on. But they are covered in glue now. I should have known not to wear long sleeve working with this glue. I'll have to get it off with something else. But I reached for this... this um, towel to clean off that big blob that was oozing out because you couldn't get the number one on there. But no, it has to get all over my sleeve. Listen, I have gotten so much glue on my clothes. But, you know, usually if I'm just running around the house and I'm not going anywhere, some days I leave my pajamas on. But mostly I just wear like older comfy clothes. Probably the same thing all of you do. Now I gotta find my little tool because it's trying to leak a little bit. All right. Well guys, I'm glad that you joined me. I hope you stuck it out with me. I know that sometimes 
videos this long can be boring to some people. And I've said that before. You guys know I've said it. But um, I'm too old to edit <laughs> videos. I'll say it like Gail does. She doesn't say she's too old. Um, but she um, just says that she doesn't have the patience for it. And I don't either. Or the time, really. It takes a long time to edit a video. And it takes a long time just to to do one and put it up you know like it takes me preparation time before I even turn the video on I try to have everything ready so you guys don't have to be completely bored out of your mind but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you will give me a thumbs up if you did and um, probably will be one day that there won't be a video. So this will go up tomorrow, the 19th, and um, probably won't have another video until the 21st. So, because I, um, I'll probably be out of commission for at least one day with my neck. But there we go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Well, good grief. I had you up too high. I'm sorry, guys. Not, I mean, you could see the bottom half, but I don't know how that happened. I tried really hard, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Here's the blue. Look how chunky this thing's getting. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if it'll, get clo it'll ever close again or not. I haven't even put a hitch post on it yet. I thought I'd just wait so I could see exactly what it needed. So pink and blue. I think those turned out cute. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you as a, as a subby. All right, guys. See you in about 24 hours. Bye.